Hello, I'm Matt, welcome to Badger Workshop. Today I wanted to talk about the Titan Planar Thicknesser. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about it, so I thought I'd do a little review. Well, perhaps not a review, maybe more of a things I like and things I don't like about it. I've had this machine for three years now, so it's held up pretty well, and I use it much more than I thought. I have put through a lot of bits of wood. Uh, I got it because it was the cheapest one on the market. And when I say it's the cheapest one on the market, it is by a long way. You can get the lunchbox planers, but they only do the one function, as this were plane and thickness, and they're quite a bit more expensive. So, first thing I like is obviously the price. Second thing I like is how well it's held up. For the money, I didn't expect much from it, and three years later, still going strong, I'm pleased with that. Uh, it has two blades. And I like the fact that for about £20 you can get a th another set, so when they dull I can just swap them out and I can sharpen them. So that's really good. The dust collection, if you've got 100mm uh, hose, works really well actually. It collects all the chips and uh, yeah, they don't go everywhere, so that works well. And I like the fact that it has the two functions. You can use it as a jointer and you can thickness. Okay, things that aren't quite as good is how noisy it is. And noisy doesn't really do it justice. It is incredibly loud. Some tools I've got are loud, but if you're just cutting one piece of wood, sometimes you do it and don't put your ear protection on. With this, you couldn't possibly be in the room with it without ear defenders on. So that limits the time of day I can use it, and really if it's the weekend or not. So. I don't like the noise factor. Uh, there's a bit of movement on these tables. It's hard to see on camera even if I did a close up. But when you put the weight of the wood there, it is there. I've tried to tighten everything up, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, so that means you have to fiddle around to get good results. But for the money, I kind of expect uh, it not to be perfect. The fence is not very strong either, so if you want to do the jointing function, you have to check for squareness every time, which is a bit of a hassle, but you can live with it. And probably the last thing I don't like is this is the dust port that has to be put in place with some micro switches that get locked down. Uh, and this is on the thicknessing function. Then you have to undo these bolts and put it down to do the planing function or the jointing function. It takes quite a lot of time to do that. But I tend to keep it in this function and just use it as a thicknesser. If I wanted to joint and then thickness one piece of wood and then keep swapping back and forth, that would get very tiresome very quickly. So, I guess my conclusion is, it's great for the money. There are problems with it, but I think I paid £130. What did I expect? It has lasted me three years. Well, and still going strong. Would I get it again? No, but that's not because of this machine. It's just I do more woodworking, and when I replace machines, I tend to upgrade. I would love one with an induction motor. The helical head cutters look amazing, but you're not talking twice as much money, you're talking ten times as much money, so it's not fair to compare them. So, yeah, if you're looking for a good budget machine, this is great. If you want to do really precise work, you're going to have to fiddle around each time you use it. If, like me, you mainly run pallet wood for it to clean it up, then it is great. That's about it. Let me know if you want to uh, hear about any more of my machines. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.